looking at the world for just one day Watch this man, this colorful charade No one can be just like me anyway Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing y'all a little before of our guest bedroom because we are about to make some changes in here. I've mentioned before that this is a long time coming. This room has always just been kind of thrown together. We don't use it very often. Like during football season, we live closer to Ole Miss. So like family and friends stay at our house sometimes during football or baseball season, but that's about it. But I've also mentioned that we are renting. So when we moved in, this furniture was already here. The people who we rent from live next door. It's a really nice older couple. And they said, you know, we've already got that extra bedroom furnished and we don't have any room in storage so can we just leave it up so of course that was just one less set of furniture we had to buy as soon as we got married so we have kept their furniture now fast forward two years and they are needing their furniture back for one of their granddaughters who is going to Ole Miss in the fall so we are getting new furniture. And along with new furniture, of course, I will put some new stuff on the walls. I never actually put curtains up in this room, so I'm going to do that. And I just always like to show y'all befores and then show you the after. So this bed, the nightstands, this armoire, and that dresser with the mirror all is going. And it will be out in a couple of weeks, but I was ready to start looking for new furniture. So I found this dresser on Facebook for $30, and of course I repainted it, and I forgot to take video footage of, and Ethan's flip-flops are over here. He kind of puts some of his clothes in this room because they don't all fit in the little closet in our master bedroom. Hey, Lily. Forgot to take footage of the before, so I'm gonna put a picture in the corner so that y'all can see what this looked like before. It was this brown color all over, and I really liked the designs and the original hardware. So I left all of that brown, used the original hardware, and then I just went back on top and put a stain. And I used the same white Waverly chalk paint from Walmart that I use on like every piece of furniture that I buy. I really like to redo old furniture instead of getting new stuff. And then we ordered a new bed from Amazon. It is going to be like a white iron bed. So I'm just gonna do the dresser and the new iron bed and I'm gonna do like a different different bedding. Um, I'll figure out something for little side tables. I might just do one side table because this room's kind of small. I honestly don't like the way that nightstand's just kind of wedged in there. So I'll probably just do one bedside table. These are the big picture frames that used to be in my kitchen. And I'm thinking about putting those above the bed in here. So I know it looks kind of rough right now, but like I said, this furniture was, you know, free for us to use for the last two years. So that, is what we've been using. And this bed needs to be fluffed. Lily's been playing on it when I was in here painting. But yeah, we ended up painting every room when we moved in besides this room and my office. And it's just like kind of a light beige. So I think I'm just gonna do like white curtains and then the white bed and this dresser and I feel like it's really 
crammed in here right now. So I'm not really going to put a lot of furniture. I like to keep things neat and clean. So I'm just going to do the new white iron bed. This new little dresser that I painted. Do some decor on the dresser. And I have a really pretty mirror to hang on the wall above the dresser. Usually don't show y'all my house when it is um this disheveled. But I found that dresser on Facebook. And I don't have anywhere to put it right now. But um, I just had to buy it. I couldn't pass up a $30 dresser that was um, wood and everything. So, it is just kind of sitting in the middle of this room right now. But that's okay because we're going to get all of this furniture out very soon. So, I just wanted to share this with y'all. And I will be sharing progress with y'all. So, as you know, I am currently redoing our guest bedroom, and this is kind of a during look at it. Um, I got the old dresser and nightstands out, and I have put the dresser that I redid on this wall with a mirror that I already had. And all of this decor on the dresser is stuff that I already had. And I recently got this little greenery from Ross. It was like $9.99. And this is one of those candles that I've told y'all about. The Red Lava Citrus by Better Homes and Gardens. You can get this at Walmart and it smells so good. I added curtains. To this room it is the same curtains that I have in the living room and once again I added on to the bottom and added some ribbon and now I have long floor length curtains that were literally like 10 to 12 dollars to make and no sewing needed I will link that video below where I added on to my living room curtains and you can go back and watch that if you're curious about how I did these curtains. I wanted to just give y'all a little look at what it looks like during the transformation. I actually have a friend from college who is coming to stay with us and this is the current state of the room. We were able to move the old dresser and nightstands out, but Ethan has been working a lot this week. So, um, she gets here in two days and I just don't think we will have time to get the new, this bed taken apart and the new bed put together and put up in this room before she comes. We just, didn't have time this week. So this is the bed that we have had in here. And I just moved it in front of this window. I really like the bed on this wall better anyway. I'm not sure why it wasn't always like this. Maybe because of the two big nightstands that were in here. I really like the way it looks with the window behind it. I feel like when you walk in, it's just so much more inviting. There's more space here instead of just walking in and being between a bed and a dresser. I really like it this way. I am just going to use one bedside table for now. Uh, I might get another one later. I might get matching ones later. But when this bed gets moved out, we have a white iron bed that we ordered. And I think it will go perfect with this little white iron table that I got from Five Below. I shared that with y'all in a haul not too long ago. I was using it under our carport and had a little plant on it. But I just wiped it down and brought it in here. And I think it'll look really nice with the white bed once we get it in here. This piece of furniture will also be leaving with this bed. 
So I will have this wall open in a few days. Not completely sure what I'm going to do here yet, but yeah, just wanted to update y'all. Since I have this room semi put together and kind of cleaned out the last footage I showed y'all, we had like two dressers in here and just a lot of furniture and there was not very much space in here to even move around. So I wanted to give y'all an update and the next clip that I will be showing y'all will be the finished product with the me bed and this old furniture being out. I'm going to keep this after shot pretty short because I have another idea for a guest bedroom video where I will go into more detail and explain some things and how I did it. But for now, I just wanted to give you a shot of what the guest bedroom looks like completed. And then later, I am going to make a video more about how to decorate your guest bedroom, how to get your guest bedroom ready for guests, and different things like that. So, I wanted to give y'all an after shot, of course, since I have been sharing all about the process of redoing the guest bedroom. So here is just what it is looking like. As always, some things will probably change before you see it again. And I'm super excited to share another guest bedroom video with you very soon. But until then, this is my finished product. I'm super happy with it and I can't wait to have some friends and family come stay with us. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the transformation. Comment if you are looking forward to my next guest bedroom video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. I can act the world up for just one day. Watch this madness, colorful charade. No one can be just like me anyway.